So this is the syllabus for Dynamics 365 CRM technical course. So basically there are four modules. First one is about uh, functional. So we will be talking about the three modules of Dynamics 365 CRM. Sales, marketing and service. This is basically for the end users. So you get an idea about how the application will be used for these three uh, industry domains. We'll also talk about how we can work with the dashboards, report and UI and all that. The second module is more about configuring CRM system. So basically for system admins, but we are not going in depth to the system admin level. Every developer as well as functional consultant has to know about the configuration part. That means how to create business unit, how to create users, teams, also how to set up the security model and a little more okay. data management, duplicate detection, then uh, integrating SharePoint. This will be like a three to four hours of uh, training for module two. So this is also part of that business management queues and all that. And the third module is all about customization. That is this one. So we are talking about MS CRM entity model. What is the entity model we have, which is a base of customizing the CRM system. We'll also talk about how we can customize the application with the help of GUI. Most part of okay. CRM can be customized with the help of GUI itself, such as creating okay. entities, creating new forms, like creating dashboard, views, or charts. All okay. this can be done with the help of GUI itself. But there are complex requirements where you just need to go for code based customization also. So the third module we'll be talking about all the customization. Basically customizing the entire entity and also automation part, that is how to uh, set up workflows and dialogues. These are the two entities basically used for automating your process. For example, whenever a case or a ticket is open for two days and no one is giving any response to that, then we have to inform the supervisor on that. So this kind of automation or anyone is uh, entering some inquiry on your website and it has to be created as a lead in the system. So those kind of okay. automation we can do. So that's where we'll use workflows, etc. Okay. Here we have processes workflows, dialogues, and also we'll be talking about business process flows and actions. Then we'll also talk about mm -hmm. the relationship, how we can create relationship between entity, just like the SQL server or SQL relationship among table, what are the different types mm -hmm. of relationship and how to configure the behavior of the relationship and all that. Then we'll be dealing with the views, how we can what customize the existing views, which is basically used for the data. Then we'll talk about the JavaScript part that is basically comes in the fourth module. In the okay. fourth module is mostly about uh, the code based customization. Okay, in your okay. syllabus it will be a little different to be realigned. So it would be like okay. uh, uh, mainly when you talk about code based customization, that's a uh, content for the fourth module. We'll be basically mm -hmm. talking about to write the code and create plugins. So plugins are basically event handlers. So whenever any any of the event happens, such as create a account or deletion of a record, a lead or something like that, we need to run a mm. uh, custom code. So we'll develop some custom code integrated with the CRM system. So whenever this kind of okay. event is triggered, the code will trigger. That is known as plugin. So workflows are also okay. used for the same purpose, but using GUI. But when you need to have a, a complex requirement implemented, we will go for plugins. And also the workflows okay. and dialogue we talk about, that can also be customized with the help of code. That is known as custom workflow activities here. So we'll talk about how to develop the customer workflow activities, how to build them, how to integrate with the CRM application, and how to mm -hmm. debug them. In terms of code-based customization, we'll be talking about plugins, customer workflow activities, and JavaScript. That's what is mentioned here. So we can build validation in on your CRM forms with the help of JavaScript. So next time when someone is uh, not entering a value on a particular field, mm -hmm. then you can show them an alert saying that that's a mandatory field we have to create. And also with the help of JavaScript, we can retrieve data from the CRM system. And okay. then finally, we'll be talking about ribbon customization. That means within the CRM application, the top we have a ribbon where we have the different buttons are there for doing multiple operations. So that we can customize. We can display, uh, hide different buttons on some, some logic. Mm -hmm. And also we talk about customizing the site now. So that is pretty much the syllabus. So this is, this is mm -hmm. taking you from the beginning of what the application is, how to use it, what are the different functionality okay. we have in terms of okay. sales, customer service and marketing. Then we'll talk about how to configure the system, that is the second module. Third module is all about mm -hmm. customizing the application using the GUI components. And the fourth module is advanced customization using code. 
So first module will take around uh, 8 hours, second will take around 4, third will take 12 hours and fourth will take around 8 hours. So together all will, it comes around 30 hours. So that's the syllabus part. Okay. okay. So that is good enough for a developer to start and look for a job.